Hey, Snack. Last time on Squid 216, we played Dodge or Die. Time to put this little strategy into freaking play. Probably ain't get hit as Lala. And oh, wait, 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 wait. Seconds left, and I, I slide back because I know I'm good. I hear the countdown now. Oh man, terrible. All I know is I gotta find me a ball and I can't get hit again. Ah! Rules was all over the place, so the game was all over the place, and it was hectic. At the end of it all, we had six contestants, but only two of them made it from the original lineup. But it's time for them to team up for this next cafeteria war game. A quick word from our sponsors. He's a time traveler from the year 2005. As you know, he's been through a lot. He's taught people how to slap box. Ish, KO. And he's even made people in this year look stupid and swang doze on. Why? Well, because it makes him feel good about himself. But the time traveler from the year 2021 wants to erase him because he hates the 2000s era. I guess you can say he's responsible for this skinny gene train and all the tragic events that took place in history that no one has any explanation for. Forced to wear skinny jeans? Hey, I'll take what I said about y'all back, man. Y'all not gay? Right, okay. hey, everybody, good I automatically slide over to Marcus because, you know, he's the only person I know up there, so why not? Uh, what do we got as long as he turned into? It definitely occurred to me that maybe we shouldn't be on the same team right now. Hey, can I get her I feel like this was my best choice because we had each other in Dodgeball. And I feel like we can make it through this. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, though. Homie. Yes, homie. Yes, homie. Yes, homie. Yes, homie. Yes, homie. So gym and recess is over. So you know it's time to hit the lunchroom. Oh yeah, the cafeteria and everything going down in the cafeteria. We got fight, cool kids over there. They over there rapping. People flinging food. Shut up, shut up. But we also use that spoon for something else. So many names, but in my school, we call it spoon break. She called it, she called it. I'm excited. I'm very familiar with this game. I don't even know what this game is. Joy lean over me and say, Spoon break. The harder that you have, you have to beat the spoon break. Oh, no! I definitely should have partnered with Craig. He didn't even know what spoon break was. Damn. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna try. Spoon break is very simple. Use your spoon to break the other person's spoon. Whoever takes the most damage within 15 hits is eliminated. Oh, this we used to play this with sports. And I mean, I didn't realize that the name for it was Spoon Break. So I played this game before. I know what this is. For Marcus, you just gonna have to try his best. I hate to see couples fight, but it's time for one of them to go. This is called Spoon Break, and it starts now. It's the first battle. Let's go. That's it. I feel like I can do this. I feel like I, I feel like I bent my spoon the right way. That's a good one. That's a good one. That was a good one. I gotta make sure that this is the same game that I was playing back in high school. That's pretty bad though. That's pretty bad. And he's just looking at me like, I don't want to do this. Oh, I think I can too. I definitely. Oh, that's lit. Not that. Oh, I got this for the. Come on, man, you ain't done, man. Come on. She was talking so much about how she used to be everybody in school. I don't think I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. missed. You go again, go again. No, 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 she missed. She missed. He said I could go again. Let me go again. Oh my god. Okay. Take that whole little part off.
When I'm walking up to face markets, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm competitive. I'm prepared to do what I gotta do. Okay. I'm gonna see you on oh, Shut up. My first hit was a little off, but I'm blaming that on him and his pain placement because his hands were angled up. Oh, if you see my hands, my hands are right here. You're supposed to make a right angle, and he had a a cute angle. So I went my first hit, and it had a pretty nice smack to it. You're gonna have to. I moved his hands where they're supposed to be, and see what happens. You cheat. Okay, okay. Cheater. I think she was just trying to give herself a better angle. Me and me. Oh, what kind of swing was that? Like that? Oh, that was too much. Bruh. It's really annoying that Marcus keeps his hands up like he doesn't know where his hands are supposed to be after I keep repeatedly moving his hands down. But he angling his hands. Right, he is. He's like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. Oh, I thought somebody peace broke. Hey, man. I'm concerned. That's the That's the So that hit was solid. It, it, it was real solid, but it didn't do anything at all. So I'm just like, it's my spoon. Not, my spoon ain't doing nothing. You ain't do all of that. Alright, She just. <laughs> so I miss again. She steady pushing her hand down, like I'm, like I'm out of position or something. I'll fix it. Me and Marcus, we're going back and forth, flicking with the spoons. And then boom, I see his neck break. I automatically get a little grin on my face, because at this point, I already know, as long as my neck don't break, I'm good. That's good. I'm gonna let you do before I win. I'm gonna more hits. <laughs> Three. Bruh. You're doing too much. Are you cheating though? Oh, that's a good one. He do. And it's the final one to see who got more damage. Break that ball. Most damaged losers. There it is. Let's see it. It's a wrap for you. She won. Yeah. I'd rather she put me on the hand than somebody else. It's alright. Having to put Marcus out, that was a little heartbreaking because, you know, we could have both went to the next round if I didn't choose him to do that first. I don't feel guilty about it, but I feel bad if that makes sense. Final match. Final match. I've seen Joyce playing with her spoon during the last two rounds, and it was pretty bad. Oh, this crap. What the? That's a good hit, though. I ain't gonna cap. That's a drop. Wait, that's a rule? That's, that's strike one, bro. Oh, you can't drop it? Uh, yeah. Come on. Oh. Mm. Mm. Six more hits. Man, what the f am I so My spoon broke. Ooh, that's a mess. You gotta be dangerous though. A quick word from our sponsors. Here's your prop. Y'all got the box, Heist Girl. Yeah, okay. Our props. Y'all ready to get it in? Y'all ready? Oh, yeah. Team Heist Girl, y'all on decks. Y'all on first. Uh, 
<laughs> there it is. Ah, man. Craig, bro. No spoon damage, but our winner. We got more girl power in the finals, so. I'm proud about that. I lost some BS, man. I'm gonna hold you. I'm gonna fix my spoon right fast. This is snapping. That was spoon break. Three players got eliminated, and now it's down to two girls and one boy. Let's hear their thoughts. That was easy. You see the spoon right here? This this, this, this the God spoon. Nobody could beat me. You feel me? Mm, not spoon yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. He tried to take my spoon. Bro, I try to do a trade to make it better for you. It's not better for me because my spoon is. Perfect. We got three contestants left, but only two of them can make it to the final challenge. And if they want to do that, they have to prove that they got a lock on this competition. Everybody about to die. No! Oh, my dang! Let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. Let me see yours! Right here, link right here, Squid216, 8.30 Eastern Time, meet us here. Hey, snack.